everyone, stick here from Maplewood Studio. How are you all doing? So today I'm at Anderson's Music Store in Guildford checking out another modern player jazz bass guitar. Uh, this one is uh, a little bit different to the one I reviewed on my own channel several months ago now. Uh, not only because it's sat in black, but there are some other quirky, cool electronic things going on on this instrument. So let's check them out. So here we go, we have an order body with the satin polyester finish which gives it the nice satin black, the flat black, uh, if you might want to call it, uh, <laughs> visuals. Um, it's really cool, it doesn't seem to be marking very easily or anything which is a good sign um, and it's a nice different kind of looking instrument. We've got a maple neck with a maple board and 20 frets. Uh, different colour body configurations can allow you to have either a maple neck, a maple board or a rosewood board. So if flat black's not your thing, check out the website, there's loads of different colour variations and then they can also tie in with a rosewood board or a maple board should you choose. However, the flat black one, maple board, maple neck, the skunk stripe as I just mentioned. Uh, open machine heads which are very adequate uh, for the modern player series. They're you know, good, nice positive tuning, not slipping, nice to use, good action. Uh, we've got a nice solid large mass bridge going on down here. Uh, rear loading, so you have to put the strings through the, back, black, through the back. Now, my only concern would be that you might scratch that uh, finish off the body. So when changing strings, I would always put something under there just to protect that finish because uh, otherwise if it, the strings can be quite abrasive when pulling them across uh, obviously because they're round mail coils. Um, the big difference you'll notice is obviously the two humbuckers which are uh, as per the previous modern player jazz bass that I reviewed. However we've got a unique switch here at the front. Uh, so we've got our two volumes here, volume for the front, volume for the back and the master tone. However this front switch is a rotary switch with four positions. I'll just check my notes. So these positions, we go through some tones later on as well with these, are in the forward position, which is position one, it's the middle and the bridge pickup. So that's cool. And then of course you can blend these with your two independent volume controls, however you choose. Position number two is the middle outer coil and the bridge pickup. So you're getting the solid humbucker and one coil here. Position three is the bridge outer coil and the middle pickup. Then position four is both outer coils. So if you add up those configurations with this switch, plus the uh, volume options you've got going on for each pickup, you have got buckets of options open on this guitar, along with your tone control. You're gonna get loads and loads of different tones out of this. So I'll be very surprised if you can get a, couldn't get a tone out of this bass that suited your needs or your requirements and stuff. Um, really cool, I'll do my best to demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, other than that, build quality excellent. Fret dressing is really, really good on the neck. Um, we also have a little wheel yeah. down here for adjusting the truss rod. Uh, so you don't have to take the neck off should you wish to adjust, adjust the truss rod for any reason. And um, we've got a four bolt bolt on neck. As usual with the modern player stuff, construction's great. We're actually looking at, this is made in China, this one. Uh, just check there and move my little Planet Waves tuner. And yeah, it's just a really, really cool little instrument. So let me go through some tones now and you know, leave your comments below, let me know what you think. As usual, uh, the recording chain for this is just the bass is being DI'd straight into Logic, so we're going into a, a DBX active um, DI box where the DI signal goes straight into an RME Fireface 800 where there's no processing at all, just limiting to bring it up to a nice constant level for you guys. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think on the tones you hear below. <laughs>
Okay, so there you go. Um, as usual, I'm no bass player, but hopefully I got across the tones on offer from this, or a taster of what's on offer from this bass. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think below. This is a very, very affordable bass indeed. It comes in from Anderton's here in Guildford at 401 pounds. It's a bargain. You're getting loads of instrument for your money, great construction, great quality, and this is gonna last you a long old time. Um, yeah, I think for my money, it will definitely be on the purchase list. So there you go. I hope you found this video useful. Please like it and share it and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, take it easy, you'll stick out. Bye. <laughs>